Stop the Car TV. Sweet, dude. It's time for Today in History. In 1889, the Eiffel Tower was dedicated to Paris. The Eiffel Tower stands as the world's tallest man-made structure and is a world attraction still today. In 1999, The Matrix was released and became a movie enjoyed by many. Plus, in 1973, the Mississippi River reached its peak level in St. Louis during a 77-day flood. Included in 1940, Germany's auxiliary cruiser Atlantis set sail on a mission to catch and sink Allied merchant ships. For more information on the past, you can look up the information on the internet or ask a teacher. In case you didn't notice, class dues have gone up. They're $35. The money pays for your senior day activities and your actual diplomas. Seniors pay Ms. Beaver, juniors pay Ms. Jewett, and sophomores pay Ms. Mitchell, and freshmen pay Ms. Hillebrand. Also, juniors and seniors must pay them by tomorrow to be able to attend the prom, which is this Friday night at the Sheraton in downtown Dallas. Going to college? Scholarship opportunities abound in the counselor's office. The Athletic Boots Club scholarship applications are due by April 1st. Black and Gold scholarship applications, as well as Trinity Valley Electric Co-op applications, are due by April 16th. And PTA scholarship applications are due back by April 20th. Seniors, bring a copy of your college acceptance letter to the counselor's office so we can proudly display your name in college on the board in the counselor's hall. Also, seniors, it's time to round up your photos for the Senior Slideshow, which will be shown during the Senior Day Assembly and just before graduation. So, so gather up your snapshots and turn them in to Ms. Deborah in the front office, or you can email them to Mr. Strug at jstrug at crandallisd.net by Friday, April 30th. 10th and 11th grade students who want to take dual credit college classes need to take the theater. There are seniors who still need to take it as well. We'll be administering the theater here at CHS on Wednesday, April 6th. The deadline to sign up is tomorrow, so sign up. The cost is $39 and you'll need to sign up in the counselor's office. You'll need a four-function calculator. No grabbing calculators allowed. Attention all environmental club members. The April meeting has changed to Wednesday, April 7th at 7.30 a.m. in room 208. Uh, the environmental field trip will be Thursday, April 8th. We'll be meeting in the cafeteria. The bus leaves at 8.05 and we'll return at 1.30. You must have your permission slip turned in by this Thursday, so get it turned in. Also, mark your calendars for Saturday, April 10th. We will meet here at 10 a.m. for Don't Mess With Texas Trash Off. Anyone can join us for our last Adopt a Highway this year. Thanks. The Crandall Speech and Debate competed in the district tournament. Zach Wesley placed first in informative speaking and second in LD debate. Brett Stridgevent, Chris White placed third, fourth in LD. Travis Uthert won prose interpretation and Kayla Sampson plays second. Rachel Lloyd plays third in poetry. All students advance to regionals. Great job. This past weekend, Travis Watson placed third at the state powerlifting championship. He also finished second in the regional meet, plus first in three other meets, and he was awarded outstanding lifter three times. Congrats, Travis. The boys' baseball team played last Saturday for a win against North Point, 27-2. Their overall season record is 11-6. The Crandall men's golf team finished in third at the Edgewood Invitational yesterday at Van Zandt Country Club. They fired a team score of 333, their lowest round of all of the year. Taylor Johnson and Rogers Wendell each shot a team low 79, while Travis Dykeman fired a career low 83. Trevor Dykema, Hunter Best, Brad Langlow, and Cody Watson also posted good scores for the Pirates. The Pirates have won two tournaments at Creekview and Ferris this year and are gearing up for the tournament, which begins Monday the 5th. Congratulations to Chase Wade and James Thompson for winning first place in the tennis doubles. Everyone played very well and keep up the good work. Hats off to Travis Dykeman for his basketball accomplishments. Recently, he made the TABC All-State team as well as the TABC All-Star Game. He also was named the Texas High School Coaches Association All-Star Game. THSCA has no small school division, so this show this shows how he stands among all high school players in the state of Texas. His accomplishments are quite numerous, but we should also congratulate him for the full ride basketball scholarship to Emporia State. Congratulations, UIL, for getting second overall in district. We have several people who qualified to go to regionals on April 24th. Travis Eukert for prose interpretation and calculator applications. Brianna Vick for calculator applications, Caroline Marsh for current issues, Brett Sturdivant for computer applications, and Lincoln Douglas debate, 
Chase Wade for feature writing and headline writing, James Thompson for feature writing, Zach Wesley for informative speaking in Lincoln Douglas debate, Savannah Serval for literary criticism, Kirby Welch for number sense, Rochelle Lloyd for poetry interpretation, Kayla Sampson for prose interpretation, Sarah Lindsley for biology and science, and Zach Green for spelling and vocabulary. There will also be a drama club meeting next Thursday, April 8th, right after school. We will discuss the banquet, summer camp, production auditions, and officer applications. Everyone needs to attend. Please see Ms. Hill if you are unable to make it. The theater department will present their 2010 UIL one-act play, The Boys Next Door, on Tuesday, April 6th and Saturday, April 10th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5. Attention any seniors interested in being in Special Olympics tomorrow, please come by room 119 to pick up a permission form. And anyone that's already signed up, please stop by room 119 and get your permission form today.